Good afternoon, everybody. Next episode of Future of Work coming up. And today I'm going to be talking to you about an uh, experience that I recently had on a kayak. I was away in the west of Texas in a very remote little town called Terlingua. For those of you who are familiar with it, it's right on the Rio Grande River and on the road to Presidio and Martha. And as a family, we've really, really enjoyed kayaking there. Um, the rapids are mild enough to be child friendly and just a great drift down the river. One of the most relaxing things I've done in a really long time. But something very interesting happened. Uh, my brother-in-law um, and his wife and kids joined us for um, an extended weekend over the period that we were there. And we all went kayaking. And as my brother-in-law came through one of the rapids, he um, his canoe basically flipped and he fell out of it. And what had essentially happened was his canoe had hit a vortex of three different currents coming together at exactly a single point. And it was that vortex of these three currents coming from different angles that basically he hit and therefore capsized out of the boat. Nothing major happened, but... Um, interestingly, what happened was uh, he tried to get out of this vortex and he was pushing his body weight, trying to get into one of these currents to basically drift down the river and back to his kayak to get back on it. And no matter how he pushed with his body like this, he just couldn't move. And it was essentially because these three different currents coming from three different angles were holding him in one place in the water. And so the river guide called over to me and asked me to hold his canoe. Um, he had the kids with him in his kayak and um, asked me to get out of mine, just hold mine steady while he went and helped my brother-in-law. And as I was standing, you know, basically wading in the water on the riverbank with the kids, watching him work with my brother-in-law, what I saw him do was he helped my brother-in-law literally just maneuver his shoulders slightly. So he just got my brother-in-law to angle his shoulders like this. And just that change in body position, tiny minuscule change, he was able to essentially get out of that vortex and move into a current to get himself down the river and back to his kayak. And it was a very big life lesson for me and one that I think is highly relevant to business leaders in today's current um, environment is that sometimes we're treading water in one spot because there's just such strong forces coming at us from different angles. And if you think about the current pandemic work environment that we're in, we're facing that. We're facing the pandemic from one angle. We're facing the market environment from another. And then there's the actual whole new work reality that we're dealing with, three major, major factors contributing to us trading water in many ways. And sometimes I think instead of trying to push ourselves into this and, and force ourselves down a certain current path that we think is best, it may be better to just stand still for a while and think of a different angle. Quick, short, but a really, really powerful life lesson on the Rio Grande River.